Hey guys, welcome back to Stanley Boy Reviews. I'm your host, Stanley. I just wanted to talk about the awesome time I had this last weekend at Monster Palooza. I wanted to talk about all the little vendors I went to. I wanted to talk about all the little gifts I bought myself. I wanted to talk about all the guests I got to meet and the autographs I got and the pictures I got. I just wanted to talk about the awesome time I had. I gained a few subscribers. I passed out a bunch of my buttons. I'm talking about these guys. So if you're one of the lucky ones that got one of these, Yes! On Friday night, I went with Christopher. I met Vanessa Shaw, who played Allison in Hocus Pocus. She was also in movies like The Hills Have Eyes. I have a replica of the spell book from Hocus Pocus that she was kind enough to sign. Check it out, you guys. My friend Renee got this for me for Christmas last year. And she signed, and she signed the front page. To Stanley, thanks for being a fan. Vanessa Shaw, she was so sweet. Thank you, Vanessa Shaw, for this. She also talked about Garden Party with me, which is one of my favorite movies of hers. She plays a real estate agent slash drug dealer. It's so good. While we were waiting in line to get into the convention, I finally met the boys from Happy Horror Time, Matt, Tim, and Jacob. This was a long time coming, you guys. We've been giving each other shout outs on this here channel and their podcast for months now. It was so nice to finally put physical forms to the voices. We ended up hanging out a majority of the night and checking out the vendors together. And we even went out to dinner that night. Also with our new friends, Sean and Rob, who is a gifted artist. Check out his Instagram. He is so, so, so good. And I'm excited to know these people and I'm excited to have new friendships with them. I have a new horror group and I'm so thrilled. I've never had so much fun quoting Elm Street movies. Miss Langenkamp. Just talking <laughs> with other horror homos in my life. Like this just doesn't happen all the time and I'm so blessed. So thank you, Matt. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, Sean. And thank you, Rob, for being my new friends. Like I feel like a golden girl. <laughs> So I went back on Saturday with Christopher and I was, again, lucky enough to meet the beautiful Robin Tunney. And I had her sign my copy of Empire Records. I told her my birthday was coming up. So she signed happy birthday to Stanley. And we talked for a few moments about the craft and about Empire Records. So blessed to have met such an iconic figure of my 90s childhood. I spent a good majority of the first part of Saturday just passing out buttons with Christopher and promoting the channel. And then Christopher left for work, unfortunately, so I was kind of just doomed to hanging out by myself. Then I waited in line for the pivotal part of the convention, which was Nev Campbell. Nev Campbell and the rest of the screencast were there, which was the big deal of the weekend. And I waited in line for almost four and a half hours to meet her. It was worth every moment spent in this line. She was the sweetest, most down to earth, nicest person I've ever met. And I've met quite a few celebrities, but this was a huge deal for me. And she was everything and more that I could have hoped for. And she signed a VHS of Scream that I've had for a very long time. She was kind enough to take a picture with me. If you would have asked me 20 years ago, if I were to meet Sydney Prescott ever in my life, I would have rather you slapped me across the face because I just never thought this moment would have happened. Nev and I spoke about the merit of each entry of the franchise and she told me that the first film was her favorite out of all of them. And might I add that I gave all three of the women that I met, Vanessa, Robin, and Nev, one of my buttons and they all graciously accepted them and my heart is so full and warm for this experience that I had. <laughs> I went home on Saturday on cloud nine and I wasn't even sure if I was going to return on Sunday. I just didn't even feel like I really had to, but I went back because I knew deep down that I had to get a professional photo op with Nev. And I paid a pretty penny to get this picture. It is now also one of my most prized possessions. <laughs> it was something I knew I had to do and I'm so glad that I did it because literally right after this picture was taken, it was news throughout the entire convention that she had turned down Scream 6 and this made the entire interaction that I had with her that afternoon and the day before that much more meaningful. Now, onto all the cool things that I purchased this weekend. This is a awesome shadow box creation by Mark Chavez. And he makes all of these unique shadow boxes 
that are all horror themed, which for two is a weird little movie directed by Kevin Tenney starring Amy Dolenz, who I've been trying to get an interview with for I don't know how long. One day it's gonna happen. I am just so happy to have this piece of art. Thank you, Mark. I really, really think this is just the coolest thing. I also got this piece of wood art. It's handmade, hand carved. Everyone knows that Pet Cemetery is one of my favorite films, if not my favorite horror film ever made. I mean, check out the detail on this. It is something I couldn't pass up. So good on Toivo, follow him, follow his work. So unique and so cool, I love it. Before the convention, my best friend Ryan and I were talking about a movie that we used to love when we were kids, this really terrible film from Trauma called Beware Children at Play. I don't know how it came up in our conversation, but it did. And randomly, I was at the Vinegar Syndrome booth what do you know? They had it and it's on Blu-ray and I haven't thought about this movie in years. So naturally I had to pick it up. It's still as bad and cheap and stupid and fun as I remember. And thanks Vinegar Syndrome for this. From Blast From The Past, I was able to pick up some Gizmo related stuff. We all know that Christopher is a big Gizmo fan. I am too, but Christopher much more so. I got him a Gizmo card deck, a Gizmo pin and myself, a haunted mansion magnet. And Christopher, behind my back, was able to snag some pretty cool pins from the Pinnacle of Pins booth. A cool little Michael Myers one. And before I even got the woodwork from Toybo, a gauge one. Check it out. And finally, the moment I know everyone's been waiting for, the VHS signed by Nev. I've already put it in a shadow box and a protective sleeve, but you guys, oh, I will hold this forever dear to my heart. I think it is just the greatest and I'm so thankful that Nev was able to sign this for me and it will now be on my wall where you won't be able to see it, but it's there. And I've been going to Monsterpalooza for a few years now and this is the first time that I've gone as A, a self-promoter with self-made content and B, someone who can buy things. <laughs> so this was a huge deal for me. And I so look forward to the next convention where I can continue to promote my channel, continue to meet new people, continue to pass out buttons, flyers, continue to be a part of the horror community because this convention reminded me that the horror community exists, it's thriving and it's a great place and community to be a part of. Anyway, I wanna thank everybody that accepted button. I want to thank everybody that subscribed. I did happen to get a few subscribers while I was there. So thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. For those that didn't subscribe and that are watching this just now, please subscribe. You know the drill. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Thank you guys so much. I did drop a cute little hint at the next movie review that will be happening this weekend on my birthday, which is Sunday. So yeah, this is kind of a two-parter video. So be prepared. I'll see you later this weekend. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Bye.